How to create a carousel ad in Reddit. Reddit's been making some excellent changes to their platform. And one of those recent changes is the ability to do little carousel ads in conversation placements. Now, what you do is you go into the ad group where you want to create the carousel ad, and you're going to hit this black button that says create ad. Now, you can choose which ad group to use. You'll notice that I have two different ad groups, keyword targeting and community targeting. We're going to go after keyword targeting because typically that's what you're going to do with carousel ads is target people that are shopping, for example, if you're promoting e-commerce. So maybe people shopping for durable goods, shopping for hats, bags, whatever, and then hit next. You're going to be brought to this. You can name the ad. I'm going to call it carousel ad. You can create a headline. So I might say top marketing courses on Udemy. And then you would select this option, which is carousel and start dropping in some different images here. So here's one of, a, one of my courses on business to business marketing. This one's on branding. This one's on copywriting. And this one is on digital marketing. So I have four different products. You can add more if you wish. And you can select a call to action. Now I'm just going to go with view more. Every time you select the call to action, that's going to reflect the image, the particular panel in the carousel. And you're also going to add a ca caption for each one. So for example, this one is going to be business to business marketing. And you can put in different URLs. So the different product URLs would go uh, in the destination. And just a note here, in conversation placement, the cards, the first card's URL serves as the link for both your headline and the call to action button. Now you'll notice you get this little red alert here. Destination URL is required for each card slash image. It's a little bit annoying because I'm not done creating the ad and it's already giving me something like an error with bright red, but it's, it's easy to fix. You just go click each image and put in um, perhaps a different URL. In some cases, you might just put in the same URL. Uh, it's also a bit tedious having to uh, select the call to action each time, but uh, overall, I mean, it, it's pretty effective and uh, running Reddit ads is a lot cheaper than doing something like Google pay-per-click, so uh, it's, it's worth the time to go through a little bit of hassle. Just make sure you fill out each of these little captions, so I'm going to call this brand management, and we're going to go to the next one, and I'm going to call to action again, call it view more, and I'm going to call this one copywriting. I'll just put in different URL here, and then we'll go to the fourth and final image, which is about product marketing or digital marketing, rather. View more digital marketing. I'm going to check off here, allow comments. And you see a little preview of what the carousel ad looks like. And you can see that I can drag and move this to see the different cards. You can see uh, who's promoting it. You see the, the simplified call to action, which is going to go to the link on the first card because this is a conversation placement, a more simplified placement option. Once you're done, you'll hit save and wait for Reddit to send you an email saying that it was approved. That might take a few hours, maybe a day. Next, I'll show you an example of a live carousel ad. So I'm in the campaign manager going down to ads. Here's the carousel courses ad. You can see I got 342 impressions so far, an effective CPM of about $2.50, clicks three, and uh, the cost per click is only 28 cents. And this is really where the big opportunity is with Reddit right now is it's kind of like Google maybe 10, 15 years ago when cost per click were low, only now you get to get those clicks on visual carousel ads instead of just basic text-based ads the way you did with Google. So this is going to supercharge e-commerce in ways that are not possible on Facebook because with Facebook, you can't really do the same level of keyword targeting. With Reddit, I'm able to target people based on what they search. You also see I have a fairly high click-through rate here of 0.877%. The other thing that's astounding here is look at how Reddit defines click. Clicks, total spend divided by number of link 
clicks. So these are not just any clicks. These are clicks to the link. These are uh, clicks to your landing page, to your website. So given that, uh, this is very good metrics if we can trust Reddit ads. And we know in the past that a lot of companies have engaged in somewhat fraudulent activity. Um, so if you trust the data, uh, I, I'm quite bullish on Reddit ads and especially carousel ads, because look at the uh, KPIs I'm getting here. It's the top performing ad out of all of these. And I'm running video ads and image ads. So let's take a look at this ad. So I hit these little three dots and I hit view post. Decker's marketing courses on Udemy. There's the call to action. This is the uh, the headline that I created for this specific card. If we go and click the arrow, we can see there's a different headline with a different URL. Each time we go through, we're going to get a different image and a different URL and a different headline. But notice that at the top, the title stays the same. So this is what the full placement looks like uh, in the conversation placement. You're not going to see the, these many details. We're also going to look at some of the data for this particular carousel ad. So I'm going to hit view insights. Now it's going to say there's not enough data for these two, but if we go down to keyword, we do have data. So I can see that about 91% of the impressions are from people searching the keyword Udemy and 8.45% are people searching marketing course. We can also see where the clicks came from. So very high click through rate when people search for marketing course and a very low CPC of only four cents. And that's two clicks. So very this this uh, ad is very relevant to people searching for um, marketing course. We can also customize the metrics. Could also duplicate this ad and try different types of images or, or different e-commerce products that we want to promote. And to really see what the ad looks like, we can create a test URL. So I'm going to create that URL by clicking the black button. And what we're going to do is we're going to copy the conversations placement test and paste that into a browser tab. This is a sample of a conversation and you can see below it here is uh, the ad that I placed. If I click join the conversation, we'll be able to see the rest of the ad. And I can also just click the landing page link here, but let's go to join the conversation. Now we can see the full ad with the various types of details. You can also copy the feed placement test link, paste it in, and now you'll see how the ad shows up in the placements. And you can see that it's much larger and you don't have to click to be able to go through each of these cards. One of the most important things I like to do is a breakdown to see where the placements are generating results where they're generating clicks in this case. Uh, earlier, I showed you how we were able to see performance based on which keyword people were searching. So that's also very important. But uh, let's take a look at the placements here. And if we go to the carousel ad, we can see that uh, we had two clicks from conversations. So it's actually those tiny ads, which is where uh, we're getting most of the performance.